Hello my most wise and sagacious thinkers. Welcome to the second episode of the Practical Mythology series which will explore the Vernon Jones translation of Aesop's fables in ways designed to be of practical use in our daily lives. Each episode works as both a standalone and as part of a gradually growing series that highlights the ways in which myths are learning tools still highly relevant to the modern world. A full gym workout for the mind. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let us begin with the goose that laid the golden eggs. A man and his wife had the good fortune to possess a goose which laid a golden egg every day. Lucky though they were, they soon began to think that they were not getting rich fast enough. And, imagining the bird must be made of gold inside, they decided to kill it in order to secure the whole store of precious metal at once. But when they cut it open, they found it was just like any other goose. Thus, they neither got rich all at once, as they had hoped, nor enjoyed any longer the daily addition to their wealth. It's another very short story. Again, could we make it longer? What happens if we change the story? And why would we want to? Aside from the obvious lesson that being mean to people who are kind to us kills that kindness, What else can we learn from the story? What do the couple and the goose represent? What was the story originally meant to teach us? What would have happened if the couple had looked after the goose? How might the story have ended differently? What does the change in thinking tell you about the couple? What do you think about kindness and how to return it? Can you think of a time when you return someone's kindness like that? Has everyone ever returned your steadfast kindness with greed? How did that make you feel? These are just some of the questions we can reflect upon when musing over this short tale. If you're not listening via YouTube, hop on over there and leave your answers in the comments. We'll revisit this story in about two weeks to go through what your wisdom has shone a light on. Likes and subscribes, as always, are very welcome, as are sensible feedback and reviews. Next up will be the cat and the mice. Thank you so much for exploring with me. Take good care until next time. Bye-bye.